did you learn from from your first game in, in the SEC that you have to kind of be able to take forward? Uh, yeah, I think just kind of taking the moment. Um, that's just something that, uh, you know, Barrett Bannister uh, told me. I asked him, like, some advice before the game. You know, what he did just coming into that kind of a big atmosphere, something new. Um, and just learn how to take in the moment and not let the moment get too big and just remember that we're there. And just it's just a football game at the end of the day. No, I'm fine. I think it's just kind of when they contact and just put some jersey on it, but put a different jersey on. So yeah, I'm 100. percent So, did you uh, was the phone blowing up after the game? I mean, did you hear from a lot of people that you're supporting over here? Yeah, I had a ton of support, which was awesome to see. So it was just kind of cool to see just people support me and there, you know, kind of you know behind me and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, so the thing I did was just Barrett told me to just find a moment after we run out of the tunnel um, and just kind of like find a spot off by yourself, take a couple deep breaths, look around. Uh, I saw some family friends that were right behind the offensive bench, um, you know, just kind of looked at them and just kind of just soaked in the whole moment, you know, just kind of calmed my nerves. And then after I did that, I was pretty ready to go to play, so. Yeah, I think the coolest thing was just the new tradition that we're doing with, uh, I think if you guys saw us, we were doing the little song with the band. Um, you see all kinds of like Notre Dame and all those like big football schools do that tradition. So I think that was something that's just cool. Um, just kind of took, I just sat there and, you know, kind of took that in. I think another cool moment was just seeing my family come down to the field and, you know, be able to take pictures with them because it's a dream of theirs as well to watch me play. So it was just kind of cool to share that uh, moment with them. What was the heavy from that moment? Um, just kind of relief, you know, just that. That was just like a, an amazing moment that, you know, I never forget. And huge shout out to my O-line and tight end. I, if you guys watched the play, you know, I didn't even barely get touched. So I crossed the goal line. So it was huge for them. So. Yeah, I think just kind of slow the game down. Um, you know, just I'm just trying to watch more and more film and learn how to watch film. Um, so then when I go out there, I'm just allowed, I'm just able to play more fast. Because at Truman, I watched some film, but it wasn't such a huge emphasis um, on watching film. I just kind of more went out there and played. So that's a huge side of the game that I'm starting to learn is how to watch film, how to break down different blitzes and, you know, read the ends, read the linebackers. So, you know, make a couple of uh, better runs. Um, yeah, I never really knew. I knew we were just rotating. Um, so when, you know, they said, hey, Cody, go out there on the first drive, it was just a, you know, just a cool moment. Um, but any of us were deserving, you know, to, to start that game. And, you know, I was, uh, you know, happy that you know, I was able to start it. But I think everybody played extremely well in that room. And, you know, we're, the competition is high, so. Yeah, I think just learning uh, outside zone, eyes and path, trusting the path and uh, just uh, working on the speed of it um, and stuff like that and recognizing blitz faster, recognizing when they're not blitzing, be able to get out and pass uh, and for Brady to have a check down and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, I think just in the running back room and uh, in general, uh, Coach Loop is just a tremendous coach. I've never really had a running back coach until la uh, I had one at Truman that was just kind of like a GA grad assistant. Um, and then this is like my real first coach. So just watching him diagnose film, break it down, how he does it. So now I'm able to go off on my own and you know, kind of do the same thing that how he uh, teaches us when we have uh, meetings and stuff. Yeah, it's usually just as like a team. And then I kind of go off with Brady sometimes, or just kind of off on my own. I got some free time and on my phone with uh, and stuff like that to watch film. Cody, I don't mean to make too much of this, but I mean you're talking about you know never really watch film, never had a specific position coach. Just how how different a world is this from yeah. from last year? Yeah, you know it's a it's a completely different world. You know, sometimes I'm very grateful for it because you know, like I said, I haven't really ever been had a position coach. Um, 
and just seeing, learning how to play the running back position. Because usually in high school and at Truman, it was more just hand the ball, you know, to Cody. And now I'm learning how to actually play running back and different, how to catch the ball out of the backfield, how to get open. You know, recognizing blitzes I think is huge for me because I've never really been asked to, you know, pick up blitzes before and really learn how to recognize certain blitzes and stuff like that. So it's just, I'm just ex extremely uh, thankful to learn the game and trying to, to see where my game can go and elevate myself to, you know, be the best person I can for my team. Yeah, I think just in our position room, you know, I think we are all helping each other. Nobody's, you know, trying to keep information to themselves. I think that's just something that's amazing about our room. You can just tell the closeness and all that. If anybody's got questions, we always come off at their sideline after a play or something like that, ask questions. So I think just our room in general um, is just an amazing atmosphere to, you know, be able to elevate each of us uh, in the game and at practice. In football, like yeah, specific? Yeah. Yeah, I think I just keep going back to like blitz pickup. I think that's just something that I've been in, like trying to learn the most of because I think that's something for my role, um, especially that I can hopefully help the team in that uh, in that sense of the game, that part of the game. So that's something that I think I've just kind of been picking at people, picking at people's brains, you know, learning how to read defenses and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I think they're a great defense, um, and uh, yeah, we're just ready to go and ready to play. So. Um, you know, I think that's more, not really a question that you know I can really answer. Um, I think that's more just whoever's in the game, um, whoever you know has the, whoever can just play the best and whoever can help the team win. And I think it's just important to know your role. So whenever one of us is called, um, you know, Nate's a great, uh, great leader, great competitor, and. So I think he's just, you know, yeah. Nate, you guys seem like you came to the game today wanting to win. You lost last year by about 20 points. You wanted to win. What, what, what was the start that it kind of got you going to this point where you knew you needed to win? Yeah, I think just experience, you know, because especially with us going on the road, um, I had just been asking him questions because he knows how to travel, especially at this level. So that's something i just been asking him, to, him advice on um, specifically um, with this, you know, my first time really traveling and doing this whole uh, – Big travel day in the in a, a Division One level. What was the road trip like at Truman? I mean, yeah, sixteen hour bus rides. So I remember that was our. We went to Davenport, Michigan, and then we went to Wayne State, Michigan, back to back. I think those were both sixteen hour bus rides with no AC, and it was uh, it was fun. Definitely uh, team bonding. So that was good. Yeah, I think just trusting the O line is going to be huge for us. Just trusting that they're going to, you know, pick up who they need to pick up, and we just read those blocks, and um, we'll just be able to run. Yeah, you know, I think every game is important, um, and this is just another, you know, a step in our journey to being one to know. Um, preparation never changes on who you play, really. Um, and we're just thinking about executing on Saturdays and we're preparing the same like we would, you know, for any a week. And this is also, I'm new to all this, so I don't really know how the, uh, you know, preparation goes throughout the season, so. Uh, I thought we did pretty well. Um, you know, obviously there's stuff we improve. I mean, that's football for you. But, um, you know, overall I thought we did pretty well. Uh, we, you know, we won the battle of the line, so. I mean, you know, we kind of go into every game, you know, with preparation and, you know, kind of with the same mindset of, you know, trying to win and, you know, win the line of scrimmage, be positive. Um, you know, this is a big group ahead of us. Um, so, you know, we just got to be prepared and dial in.
Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a great player, obviously. Um, but, you know, we've seen guys just as good as, you know, Georgia last year. You know, we see we see new guys every week. You know what I'm saying? So the preparation has to be the same. You know, we come in with the same mindset. It doesn't matter really who it is. We just got to know prepared, and we really have to study on what their tendencies are. Um, I think communication on the whole line for sure, especially against this defense is the three three five. So, you know, I mean, it's similar to uh, Arkansas defense, and so communication is going to be the biggest part, especially for the offense. I mean, kind of kind of bouncing off of that is communication. Um, you know, like like you said, this is a tough group ahead of us, and really every every single week we have a tough group. You know, coach focuses on one and all, so preparation has to be the exact same. Mindset has to be even improved on. You know, I think great teams they improve from week one to week two, and it shows out in practice. And I think we've done that so far. So. Uh, pretty good so far. I mean, you know, we, I trust all my ball, all my marbles with them. Uh, you know, Tolleson, a great dude, very smart dude, athletic. You know, Brady, love him, great quarterback. So, you know, I'll do, I'll block for whoever. Um, I want to say the communication doesn't get harder. I just feel like we just have to be more effectively, you know, because it's going to be loud in there. And, um, you know, we got to make sure that we know both verbal and nonverbal communication skills will be uh, needed in that game. I mean, just like in any hostile environment. So we just got to be prepared. Uh, you know, we've been practicing that with noise to be, you know, prepared for us with that. But, you know, obviously you can't, you know, simulate it until you're actually there. So. Um, I mean, it's just a different front, like I said. And, you know, we've seen it with Arkansas and other teams. So it's just really dial in on, you know, what our assignments are, communication. Um, like I said, it all, it all goes down to communication preparation because if we don't have those, we're in trouble. You know, we do the same <laughs> as the line. We block the same. Um, you know, it's obviously they are different types of running backs, but, you know, that's just we, we can't change our preparation and our, you know, blocking schemes and style for them. You know, we just got to do what we're told and we're going to execute. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we just really focused on one and know, you know, just trying to make sure we um, do everything right and um, just focus, really focus on one and know, get through this game, and um, that's pretty much it. That's how we taking it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I respect them, I'm, but I'm still dialed in. Uh, to everybody, I treat everybody the same. You know, he he can uh, anybody can get the best of me, so that's how I'ma treat it. Um, really, us um just going against the eye front and stuff like that. Just focusing, just making sure we getting all our points and stuff right. Just uh, making sure we move as one and staying together. Um, he has a good long arm. Uh, he's he's really uh, a powerful dude too. He also can show power. Uh, I see he, he got a lot of move. Honestly, um, I've been watching him. He, he has a lot of moves in his bag, and uh, they, they're pretty nice. So yeah. Um, 
Uh, we just w just want to know. We just trying to uh, make sure we uh, do our jobs the right way and uh, just focus on one another. Just that's pretty much it. I don't know what to say. Oh yeah, yeah. He's uh, yeah. He's he's more of a like an SEC DN. So he's you know we faced them uh, all last year and stuff like that and every day in practice. So that's um, he's a good he's a good player. But you know, it's it's just one to know. We just ready to win. How important is it for you guys to, to make him play well? Like, uh, he's kind of held in that kind of special thing. Just getting him popped all the time. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah. We had a few last week. Uh, one on me too, actually. So um, yeah, we just being more focused and dialed in, and uh, making sure we having crowd noise during practice. So you know, just facing adversity in practice and trying to get through that. Um, really just um, run game, you know, it changes your points and stuff like that at times. So uh, just make sure everyone can communicate on the offensive line and know where we're going and stuff like that. What are some highlights you saw from Goddard while playing his first start at Alabama? Um, he was very confident and uh, vocal. Um, he didn't look rattled or nervous at all. Um, I, I liked how he was ready to go um, in the locker room before the game, and he was amped up and ready. So that's a good thing to see that he wasn't nervous or shy or anything like that. Um. We, even though we rushed for over 300 yards, um, that still it wasn't our best game as an offensive line. We still had a lot of mistakes and a lot of stuff we could, could clean up. So uh, that's basically how we took it. Uh, just look at all the mistakes that we had and clean up from those and move on forward. I right, appreciate y'all.